Wow. <laughs> Hi, this is Katie. Look at this hair. I couldn't have done this on purpose if I tried. Wow. Um, so it is um, early, this is not really, it's 9.45. I woke up at like 8, 8.30 because I had a video idea for the day, um, but I was going to record it in the car. But, can you hear? No, of course not. It's storming outside. Um, and if I recorded it in the car today, it would have been way too loud with the rain and um, if there's thunder and lightning and stuff. So. I'm going to do that particular video later this week or next week or something and uh, just do a different video for you guys today. How's this hair? Is that a little better? I like to sometimes take a couple pieces down, but okay, I think that's a little bit better. But anyway, what I think I might do is put on fake nails. So my nail journey is that they grow really, 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 really long. And then one breaks and then I break off all the rest of them and then they grow really, really long and then one breaks and I break off the rest of them. That's how my nails work. And so right now they're in a super, my camera doesn't focus very well. Camera, look at my nails, please. They're close, there you go. Um, they're in a very short, 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 short stage. So I got fake press on nails and um, I got a couple sets. They were like really, really cheap at, at uh, Walmart, but one pair, let me get them for you, hold on. This is all my all my nail polish stuff. One pair is bright neon green. So I think we're gonna put these on. This is by LA Colors Nail Frill High Gloss Neon Artificial Nail Tip Kit. 33 pieces, 33. Oh, cause it comes with a nail file and a nail glue and a prep pad. I don't know what a prep pad is, um, but these are coffin shape and I guess they're called Easy Peasy. Are they called Easy Peasy because they're green and peas are green? Is that why? Maybe? Um, but anyway. I think I'm gonna put these on and just chat with you guys. I have this nail organizer thing, nail polish organizer thing that I got on Amazon. It is listed in my Amazon recommended and I really, really like it. It like holds a bunch of nail polishes. I have quite a few. I like nail stuff. Um, and then it holds all like your accessories and tools and stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to push all my cuticles back and then trim them up. I'm not gonna show you that because that would be insanely boring. But yeah, I just have one of these like cuticle pusher things. This one's a plastic one. They also have a lot of like the wood ones. I'm just gonna push them back and then just trim a little bit of my cuticles with a cuticle trimmer thing. Um, this one is the brand Earth Therapeutics. I definitely got this at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like a year ago or something and it was like $6. Um, so I'm gonna do that quick and then we're gonna put on some bright green nails. Obviously you don't have to do this step if you don't feel comfortable um, trimming your own cuticles, um, but I like to a little bit. And like I said, I got this cuticle trimmer from TJ Maxx or something, but I'll link one below if you guys are curious um, what I would recommend. Um, oh, and I took my glasses off because I'm nearsighted and so when I'm doing something very close up to my face, like doing my nails or like reading, I don't need my glasses. Um, anyway, but we're gonna put them back on so I can look at you guys because you're far enough away that it's blurry. Um, anyway, these are the other sets of nails that I got from Walmart, by the way. These are from Impress. These are like an ombre French manicure and some of them have little rhinestones on them, so that's cute. And then these are like the most Katie Carney nails I've ever seen. These are from Salon Perfect, the Lux nail set. Um, these have some nude ones and then some are black with like black rhinestones that are really cool. But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna do the green ones because the green ones are super fun for this rainy day. Um, and so yeah, this little LA color set was like $4 or something, it was very inexpensive, came with a little nail file and it came with nail glue, but I'm gonna use my own because I already have one opened. And it came with a nail prep pad and I had no idea what that meant, but it is just an alcohol wipe. It's alcohol and water. It's just a little alcohol wipe um, to kind of like make sure that your nails are clean before you put on your nails. You can probably just use, um, I mean, any alcohol pad or even just nail polish remover. Um, but my nails are fine. They're completely good and I just trim my cuticles and I don't really need to file them because there's no nail basically there. So I'm just gonna glue these on and, uh, and talk to you guys a little bit about YouTube. So, okay, first of all, the first thing that you have to do when you're getting fake nails like this here, I'll put them where you guys can kind of see them still. That's, mm, eh, whatever. All right, first thing that you have to do after you, you know, like trim your cuticles and get your nails prepped, 
is find the nails that fit your fingers. Oh my God, these are gonna be very cute. I'm actually really excited about these. And I thought they were gonna be way too long, but they're not. Like they're very long, but not, not too long for me at least. Beautiful. And then some of them have like numbers on them. Yeah, so this has a number. What does that say? Oh no, the numbers are so small. <laughs> the lighting in here is not great that I cannot see the number on here. But okay, I'm gonna spend a minute making sure I get all the sizes right and then uh, I'll be back, show you how I put them on and we're gonna have a little bit of a like real honest talk about YouTube. Okay, I got them all laid out. I have them like in order of um, my nail, like my thumb, pointer, middle, ring, and pinky. Can you see those maybe? Okay, anyway. I just have nail glue from Kiss Pink Gel Nail Glue. I don't know, but it's already, wait, is this not opened? I thought it was, oh no, it is, it is. So. I'm just gonna put some nail glue. Is this dried up? Come on. Be careful with nail glue, guys. Really, 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 really be careful. It's just super glue. So be careful um, getting it on your, your fingers or your clothes or whatever. Just put a little bit on, but kind of cover the edges and stuff, but don't put too much. And then put the nail on. Make sure that it's in place. And then hold it down for however long you want to. 10 seconds, 20 seconds, five minutes. Probably like 10 seconds is probably good enough. Okay, and then nails on. Oh man, I'm excited about these. Um, you can also get the nails that have like little sticky pads instead of using glue if you don't feel comfortable using glue. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. I also kind of wish I showered before I did this. Just cause sometimes like the water will kind of loosen it up. These will probably last, I don't even know. Does it say on here how long they're supposed to last? Usually five days a week-ish, kind of depending on the brand and then the glue you use and stuff. But all right, anyway. So I'm gonna do these and talk to you guys a little bit about YouTube. So YouTube lately for everyone, I think has been a little, obviously a little off, a little confusing of how to navigate for all YouTubers because there's so much going on in the world. And then so, you know, most YouTubers who have YouTube as a job, most, I would hope all, but most at least really, really wanna make sure that their viewers are getting good quality, uh, entertaining or educational, valuable content. And some of my content, I can still do exactly the same. My mental health updates, um, my like what I eat in a day, you know, like talking about things that I've done in the past or showing you footage that I have from last year or, um, talking about certain things is exactly going to be the same as it's always been. But a lot of my videos were based on the fact that I, you know, traveled and lived in my car. And then when I moved to Charleston as a little experiment to get an apartment, um, that changed. And I knew that that was going to change. And I um, did what I could to navigate through that and still give you guys some travel content, but then just kind of see what it was like for me to live in an apartment. And then I was gonna get back on the road, you know, but I couldn't because of everything going on. So I came to stay here in Nashville. You guys know that, I've said it a million times. I'm staying here in Nashville because um, it's safe. Um, it's, the, it's my safest option. And I think it's important to do what you love and chase your goals. But I also think it's really important to stay safe um, and, uh, you know, not do things that are selfish and just the way that I like to travel, it's not really feasible right now. And so, um, I think that it's best I stay safe and I stay here. So not only are YouTubers having a confusing time navigating through this, through whatever their channel is, I feel like I'm having a difficult time with that. Plus the idea that my lifestyle has completely changed, you know? And like, I, I love being on the road. I love being able to travel and sleep in the car and go to national parks. You guys know I spend most uh, summers out in like Montana or like that area, like Wyoming and stuff. And I can't do that. And that's not me complaining. That's not me complaining at all. I'm not, um, I'm not complaining that I can't travel. It's more that I'm, I'm just a little confused of um, what that means for my content. Um, I'm still gonna do YouTube. Like I love having YouTube as my job but I'm just confused of, of what this means for my channel. And so I could still just, again, do kind of what I was doing in Charleston, but now I live with someone. So a lot of my just like day-to-day -day vlogs um, I'm, are not gonna be the same because now I have a roommate. 
and um, I'm not going to just like make him be in all my videos, you know what I mean? And so some of that I could still do, but some of it would be a little more difficult, but I am just a little confused of of what the best way to navigate this is, what the best value I can give to you guys is in terms of content. Also, P.S., if the nails don't fit you, you could, like, um, like side to side, I mean, you could file them down a little bit, but be careful when you do that because it might just like take the nail polish or the color or whatever off, but just be careful and do that. But also a lot of them on the tip, it has like a little like rough edgy thing. So I am gonna file them a little bit on the top, but look how cute these are. I really like these. But yeah, so anyway, I, I know that I've mentioned in the last couple weeks of my videos, like, hey, if you guys have any um, any ideas, let me know, because I'm being serious. Like, this whole YouTube thing is me and you. This is not just me. This is all of us together, and I wanna do content that you guys enjoy, and I want it to be valuable. That's kind of the whole point of content, is is it valuable? There, This glue is almost dried up, I think. Or I think it might just be like a little clogged here, but um, you could always put like a little, a little pin or something in there to get it unclogged, but anyway. Uh, so, since I'm gonna have like almost no travel videos for the time being, because again, the way that I like to travel, I don't see it as safe. Can you travel in a safe way? Sure. I know some people who are doing that, but I just don't feel comfortable doing it. Not anytime soon, at least, um, except for maybe little day trips or something like that here and there. There's one hand done. These are cute and they're really not, I mean, they're long, don't get me wrong, but they're not too long. Like, I feel like my regular nails sometimes get to this length and I, I know how to like navigate with nails this long. That is fun though. What a fun, this is actually really fun for like a little rainy day thing. And even if you don't, if you don't wanna do fake nails or whatever, just paint your nails like a really bright color on like a super rainy day. It's just kind of fun. Like it's a little like brightens up your mood, you know? Anyway. So again, I don't mean, this is not me complaining whatsoever. This is me just like trying to talk it out with you because I am just kind of a little confused of what I'm gonna do in terms of the next couple months. Um, I have a bunch of ideas. I have a couple series and I post about 12 times a month or so. So if it's like, I'm just being, this is like literally like, I'm just like talking to you like I, I would talk to like a friend about this. Um, like if I have 12 videos a month, my fingers almost just stuck together. <laughs> I have 12 videos a month. If one is of what I eat in a day, if one is mental health, um, if maybe four-ish are um, travel related because I have some series coming up that are travel based, that are, it's gonna kind of be like advice for, um, you know, if you are traveling now, if you feel safe doing that, I, would, I'll, I have some advice for that. And then when, you know, it's much safer to travel, I have advice for car travel and stuff like that. And so I'm gonna be doing some of that soon, just because I know that some of you guys still are traveling or some of you guys still are living in your car. And so I'm gonna be doing some of that and then some just day-to-day -day vlogs, but then that still leaves a few videos a month that I'm like, what's, what's the best use? Like, what's the best use of my time? What's the best use of your time? And so please let me know like what your favorite videos are to watch, whether they are your favorite videos of mine to watch or, fingers almost stuck together again or um, your favorite videos of other people like what else are you enjoying right now but I just I hope that you guys know that like I I'm doing everything that I can to give you guys content that that I think that you're gonna enjoy um, but I also want you guys to be involved because this channel is us and so I want to know what you guys really want oh no I messed this one up no 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 okay if you notice it quickly enough you can reposition it but once it dries it be a pain in the butt to try to reposition. So yeah, it's just, I just want to be honest with you guys about like, it's just been a little confusing for me lately of what I want to do. P.S. I know that so many other people are dealing with such difficult and horrific things going on in their lives. And one of the reasons that I have my YouTube channel is to help people feel heard and understood and accepted and loved and hopefully bring some joy to their lives. So I hope that I'm not coming across insensitive at all. I just also wanted to share with you guys something that I'm going through, but I definitely know that it's like not the worst thing that could happen right now for sure. So letting me know uh, questions that you have or story times that you wanna hear um, or uh, just videos that you wish I would do more of or something, um, I would love to hear. Um, and I just wanna be honest with you guys about how like, it's just been a little confusing, especially since I've got to Nashville of what I'm gonna be doing. It's like, I think I'm just kind of accepting the fact that the lifestyle that I really love, I don't feel safe doing it right now. 
um, for the way that I like to do it. And so it's been a, a pretty big like transition, I think, even though I was living in my apartment, but it was so different because that was a choice for an experiment. Now it's kind of like, not that I'm stuck and I'm so grateful that I have a safe place to be. It's not that, it's more like, I just don't really know where to go from here. I just kind of don't know where to go from here. Um, and I wanted to be honest with you guys about that. I hope that's okay if we have like honest talks like that because I see you guys as my friends, you know? And um, I love doing YouTube. I love doing YouTube so much. And so I want to figure out what's best. This is definitely a transitional period for me. It's, I, in my brain too, like I, I feel like I'm going through so much like transitional wise in my in my brain and in my life. And sometimes it can cause confusion and pain, but if you use that pain right, you can come out the other side with, with a lot of growth. So this nail is giving me trouble and I don't know why. <laughs> Every once in a while I like to check in with you guys anyway to, to get your feedback of what you guys like, but especially now, especially now that my channel has just like changed pretty drastically, I would especially extra like your feedback. But I did it. All right, now I'm just gonna take the emery board that they gave me, I have a million, but I'm just gonna take this one and just very, it is storming. Um, very lightly buff the top because there's like a little like rough part on the top of these. And so I'm just gonna buff it just a tiny bit because I don't really want to take any length off. I need to take my glasses off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, I, um, I appreciate like you guys just being here and hanging out with me um, and I appreciate any feedback that you want to give me. It's just such a weird time for most people and their jobs and their lifestyles. And change can be scary for a lot of people. It can be incredible. It can be helpful. It can be confusing, you know? Like, I really like change. I embrace change. I, like, seek out change. Not in every aspect of my life, but in a lot of aspects of my life because when there's change, if you pay attention to it right, it can really help you grow and learn. So I really like when things change. But then sometimes when things change, obviously it can be a little like, wait, what? Or like, I wasn't expecting that to change or um, it changed without me, without like my knowledge or without my permission sometimes, you know? And um, as much as it's so important to be aware of that, it's really important to adapt as well. And so I want to adapt to, you know, the new changes of the world and of YouTube. And so, it's just a little, like, honestly, again, I am so grateful and I'm not complaining, but it is like just a little challenging to figure this out. And I hope that you guys um, hear me say that as like a friend and as like something that like, I like I feel connected to you guys because I just, you know, like I wanna be really honest with you guys. I really, really just wanna be like myself with you guys. It's not that I feel unmotivated. It's not that I feel uncreative. It's that I just feel confused of like what the best way to navigate this is, which I've repeated a thousand times, but it's just kind of what I'm thinking about. I'm just kind of talking freely, you know? That's why sometimes I repeat myself a lot. It means it's either something important or it's I'm just thinking freely, you know? And it just means sometimes that uh, it's important to me. So that's why I keep thinking about it. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep going. I'm definitely going to do the best content that I can possibly do in a way that it's not stressing me out or anything. Like I'm not stressed or anxious. I'm just more like, Hmm, you know, like I'm in one of these, one of these modes of how do I do this the best way I can? And I think we all should be striving for doing things the best we can. Actually, not just using that as an excuse, like, oh, I'm doing the best I can, not like that, but actually like learning and always trying to grow and always trying to be better than we were yesterday, not comparing ourselves to other people, but comparing ourselves to ourselves, to our past selves and just keep growing and you know, work on the things that we really enjoy doing and work on the things that are important for our lives, but always keep trying to grow and maybe your life stays exactly the same, but you're learning new things, you're experiencing new things, you're thinking a new way, or you're just being aware of what you're enjoying. Maybe you're getting rid of things that you don't enjoy, like all this kind of stuff I think is so important. And I wanna share my whole life with you guys. You know, I've been doing YouTube for five years, which is crazy to think about. So I have a lot of videos on my channel. I have a lot of, um, a lot of content out there, but I, I want it to be that 
a year from now, we can look back at this and be like, yep, like we figured it out. Like we figured out how to navigate this hard time. This is a hard time for everyone or for most people. This is a really hard time and I wanna navigate it together. How many times have I said the word navigate in this video? <laughs> but that's just the word that I'm, I'm kind of thinking about a lot right now. <sighs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for just like listening to me kind of chat about this topic. Um, and I hope that you guys like my nails. I'm sure about half of you are gonna hate these, but I think that they are so fun. I think they're so fun and they feel pretty secure. But thank you for listening to my little, just like my little confusion, you know? Because we all have them in life. And I feel like trying to trying to hide and suppress when things are confusing or hard isn't gonna help. Complaining about them and like having it be all you talk about without changing, that's not really gonna help either. But I think it's important to be honest, at least with yourself, even if you don't tell anyone else, be honest with yourself about things, um, whether they're things that you don't like about yourself, whether they're things that you don't like about your lifestyle, whether they're things that you just wanna change um, or that you, you wish you had and figure out a way to do that. I think it's really important to be honest with yourself. And that's almost the hardest part. And then, you know, put in whatever effort you can to, to work on getting what you want and changing what you want and being who you wanna be. So thank you guys so much for being here with me. I'm really, really glad that we can all be here together. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Please make sure that you're subscribed. I'm gonna have some freaking awesome content coming out. I really am, I promise. I'm gonna, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that you're following me on Instagram as well if you want some extra little daily content over there. I also have a Patreon. I have some clothes that are being sold on Poshmark, and I am opening up an Etsy store, or maybe Amazon Homemade, or one of those stores soon. The Etsy store and the Patreon and stuff are not taking me away from YouTube, I swear, I swear, I promise you. I also just want to offer extra content and extra things for you guys, but they're definitely not taking me away from YouTube. Don't worry about that. Um, this is still, this is still my first baby. This is my first love. So um, I'm gonna do what I can to give you guys the best content on the whole YouTube, in the whole world of YouTube. I'm gonna do whatever I can to, um, to make you guys smile, to make you guys laugh, to help you guys understand how incredible you are and that I really, really love you, like a lot. I really, really do. So thank you again for watching this video and hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.